So in today's blog, we're going to look at what is the common thread that runs through all mystical spiritual traditions uh, all over the world, from the ancient traditions of, you know, American Indians or uh, Huna Hawaiians or um, Nordic religions, uh, through to Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Islam, all of them contain a single thread. Now, why that's important is if there is a kind of axiom that seems to be all over the world, it stands to reason that that may be the key to finding awakening or enlightenment in this very life, in whatever tradition that you come from. And that key is getting out of the thought stream that we live in day to day, pretty much 100% of the time. Now, again, all different traditions have different methodologies. So, for example, some might be through devotion or prayer to a divine being. Others are communing with uh, nature. Uh, others are through love and sinking into the love of all beings or compassion, gratitude, that sort of thing. Others are meditation on the breath or uh, looking at the emptiness of all phenomena, which is, you know, the, the Buddhist path. Either way, the common thread is this ability to transcend the thinking mind. And where do you go? Well, you go into a state of awareness and you go into a state uh, which is highly meaningful, but because it is beyond the mind, it is undescribable. And that's what awakened people say. They say, I cannot describe what it's like, but I will try to describe it. And when they try to describe it, uh, the metaphors and that that they use end up uh, creating all of these different spiritual traditions. Uh, that's why we have so many representations of, you know, what it is to go beyond, so to speak, because at the end of the day, it is beyond the mind. Now, uh, if you want to learn how to do this, because by going beyond thought, you also go beyond all negative emotions and all suffering because it is the mind stream, the thoughts, uh, which cause us to feel negative emotions. Uh, it's actually even the thoughts which give us the aversion to things like uh, pain and um, nausea and things like that. So we can go beyond loneliness, anxiety, depression by simply stepping outside of that thought stream, which is the very cause of it in the first place. And if you're interested to do that, then you can join us here at Skillful Mind because that is exactly what our passion is, is to help you go beyond all negative emotions, all negative suffering whatsoever. And um, I hope that that's of interest for you today and that it gets you thinking and all the best from Peter here at Skillful Mind.